We are here at our favorite shopping destination, Costco. Welcome to our next Costco haul, everybody. Ready? Do you like Costco? You wanna get some snacks? You wanna get some popcorn? Oh, look at that, good job. Wiping off the things. What are you doing? Oh, the are so hot. Okay. That <laughs> is disgusting. Thankful for these. They clean the dirt and kill the germs without any harmful chemicals. So if she puts her mouth on it, I ain't gonna be upset about it. I just love walking into Costco. We gotta start thinking about a refrigerator because we're gonna need one when we move. And so I'm like kind of looking at some of the options, seeing what's out there. This would be nice. But our kids would be in the freezer all the time. Do they make refrigerators with child locks on them? Because that'd be pretty cool. You can buy child locks. No, I want one that comes installed. Ev, what are you doing? Emily. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you kidding me? I'm ready. I'm ready for Christmas. We're going we're gonna go ahead and do some Christmas shopping while we're here. What do you see? I see tree. You see a tree? Um She sees the Christmas tree. <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this! We're in a winter wonderland over here, bud! We're in a winter wonderland. It's Christmas time, okay, apparently, Christmas already. Time. Look at this. Christmas trees. Now I'm in the holiday mood, people. Guess we gotta go home and set up our Christmas decorations. <laughs> I feel like this is a little too soon. It is, John. It has to be Halloween. Don't get me wrong, I love Christmas, but is this a little too, too soon? It's too soon for Christmas. Christmas time. That's right, it is. It really is. But you know what? If you guys have not seen that, John wrote a parody called too soon for Christmas time and you can go check it out. I'm gonna link it in the description so you can go see it. I've actually changed my ways a little bit. I'm a little more like, you know what? It goes by so fast. We'll set up a little earlier, but this is a little too early. These look amazing. 180 degree snacks, sweet cinnamon pecan, nut squares. I saw these, I got really excited because they look amazing, but it says manufactured in a facility that also processes wheat which means not safe for our celiac kiddos. Kind bars don't have gluten in them, but I've heard the same thing, that they're cross-contaminated a lot, and so it's probably not the safest choice. Our favorites. Oh yeah. I wish they were still on sale. We still actually have some. Should we get more? We still have a lot. Oh, look at Aww. this. Aww. Never she could see her face. Marin's like, <laughs> she went. And you're like, no, come on, come on, come on. Daniel's mad at me because I won't buy her flowers. For the second time that we've come here, I'm like, oh, look how pretty these are. This one is pretty as you think they are. <laughs> We're getting these cauliflower crackers, cheddar flavor. You guys, these are the best cookies. They are gluten-free, certified, they are organic, they're so good. Um, they have several different flavors, but I really like the organic chocolate chip ones. The kids love them. I actually, if I want something sweet, that's my go-to. Chia seeds, we've been out of these for a while and I keep meaning to get more. What an easy lunch in a pinch. Peanut butter and jelly, especially for vegetarian kiddos. Yeah, peanut butter and celery, peanut butter and carrots, peanut butter and waffles, you name it, peanut butter. peanut butter. I got more mangoes, I got two bags because the kids really like them. They'll like eat these mangoes all day, every day. What are there? Good job, so much applesauce. Oh. Our fave, gluten-free veggie burgers. Best deal ever on string cheese, $8 for 24 organic. That's a steal, right? Listen, you guys, we probably eat more pizza than we should, but sometimes you just gotta do it. And I. Those are good. Those like are my favorite these. ones. These are gluten free. And they're the cheapest ones. These are new. We've had these before, but the single serving bags are nice. Like, I'm running out of. The girls get lunch and then they get a snack. And so like the snack I save like chips or something like that and I feel like I keep doing the same thing over and over. So this, this will be a nice change up. All right, I think we got everything we need here. I think we're good to go. We are making a pit stop to Walmart because there are a few things that we don't buy in bulk that we are out of and need. And Walmart is the cheapest place to get. Look, we got the holiday ice cream out over here. Peppermint, eggnog, frozen hot chocolate. Hello 
friends. Welcome to part two of our Costco haul, um, slash Walmart haul, because we kind of went to both. Didn't get much at Walmart, but I got a few things I want to show you. I am going to go over just some of the new stuff. If you want to check out like our humongo Costco hauls, you can check the links in the description. We'll link the videos there. Um, this was like a mini restock. So let me show you some of our favorite things we ran out of, slash some new things that we got that we wanted to try. If you are new to our videos and our family, we are gluten-free because our um, one of our daughters was diagnosed with celiac disease and a few of the other girls have symptoms of it. So we do eat gluten-free. We also try to eat organic uh, and non-GMO as much as possible. So let's go. These veggies made great. This is a really great quick breakfast for the girls. Um, I like to heat them up on like a skillet or you can put them in the oven or you can microwave them. Um, but they've got like eggs, vegetables, cheese. They are gluten-free. They're fantastic. Super easy. Costco is like the best place to get organic berries because they are so cheap. This costs like the same as half the amount at the grocery store near us. So we got organic strawberries. I actually bought three of these. I will wash them in Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soak so that they don't go bad. People always ask us that. Don't berries go bad? Um, they last a little bit longer when we wash them that way. We also got two of these things of blueberries and three things of raspberries because our kids literally inhale berries. I mean, if you think about giving five or six kids berries, it pretty much is a whole container at a time. Along with the berries, we got some organic dried blueberries, organic dried goji berries, and some organic dried mangoes. Dried anything is great to throw into a lunchbox because you don't have to worry about um, it like getting juice everywhere or going like bad if it's not cold enough. I don't know, whatever. It's a great snack. It's a great lunch. Um, goji berries are really, really good, especially in the winter. Boost your kid's immune system with some goji berries. These we got in what our last video or the one before that. The kids love them. They smell like sugar cookies to me. Um, but they love them. They love them. We've tried dried figs. We've tried dried apricots. They're kind of like, eh, not their favorite. Um, but the mangoes, they love. This gigantic thing of coconut oil. Um, cheapest place to get coconut oil. We use this for coating my cast iron pans. We use it in place of butter a lot of times. Um, it's also great for popping your own popcorn. And then we also use it with our essential oils as a carrier oil uh, to make like DIY chest rubs in the winter and stuff. So I love to have a humongo thing of coconut oil. Moving right along. This is one of our kids' favorite things. We've shared it before, but I'm sharing it again because we really, really love it. It is just organic avocados, salt, and pepper. There are no jalapenos. It's not like guacamole, so our kids love it because it's not spicy. But it's great to throw in their lunchbox with chips or fruit or crackers or put on a sandwich. Um, sometimes we'll do that. Here they have avocado toast with eggs on top. Pretty sure that's breakfast tomorrow. Organic apples, you guys. It is so rare to find an organic or very healthy like option that has some sort of licensed character on it. So I was so happy when I saw these at Costco. They just, and it's not even like a big deal. They're just little stickers that have the, <laughs> the Mickey Mouse characters. But the kids actually really like it. It makes them happy to be able to pick a character they like. So um, it's what, like $5 for a bag of organic apples, which is a pretty good deal. So we get several of these. Our kids eat apples like potato chips. Like they will literally eat two or three a day if we let them. I am the most excited to try this. I'm actually surprised at myself that I haven't opened it already. Um, these you saw in the video, we picked these up. Cinnamon pecan nut squares. So it sounds a lot like Thanksgiving to me. Okay, John wants to know if you say pecan or pecan. What do you say? Pecan, pecan, pecan. I say pecan, it whenever I, pecan. I say it differently for different things. Like when I'm talking about like pecan pie, I say pecan pie. But if I'm talking about okay. pecans, I say pecan. It, it smells, smells like, like Thanksgiving. Yeah. It smells like a pecan pie. Oh, oh. Run, don't walk. These are so good. I was gonna get put these in the girls' lunches, but I'm kind of thinking they might go up in my office. Chia seeds, we talked about these. We put them in smoothies, we put them in yogurt, we put them, you can make chia seed pudding. Um, they're really good for you. They're full of omega-3s, which are great for your brain or kids' brain development. They're full of antioxidants and fiber, which will keep your kids regular. And regular kids are happy kids. This is the best place to buy raisins. They're organic. There's two huge bags. They're cheap there. And um, we go through raisins in lunches a lot. So it's really nice to be able to buy, you know what I mean? Like grocery stores, sometimes raisins are expensive. 
these, you may notice some evidence in this general vicinity. Some Everly sized fingerprints. Um, she <laughs> definitely took this bag, opened it herself, hid somewhere, and was chowing down. The kids love the normal coconut clusters, which look like this, but they especially love the chocolate covered ones. These are like a little extra treat on like Wednesdays sometimes and Fridays. I like to give them a treat in their lunchbox if they've had a good week, so that's a good one. Coconut milk. This is six quarts of coconut milk. I like to buy it this way. We buy the cold kind, you know, in the refrigerated section, um, and the kids drink it in cereal and stuff. But it's nice to buy the kind in the cartons that's warm because it doesn't take up valuable fridge real estate. And um, they're a good size for our smoothies. Usually in our big Vitamix blender, I can just pour one of these quarts in and then fill the rest with um, fruit and vegetables and all the things and make a smoothie with it. These are new. I'm honestly really excited to try them. I'm hoping that they taste like Cheez-Its, but I kind of feel like they might not because they're made out of cauliflower, but I bet the kids will still love them. Cheddar flavored cauliflower crackers. Again, great lunch, great snack. Along with that, we already pour into these. I put these in the kids' lunch box yesterday. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you can head over there. I have a gluten-free lunch diaries um, highlight in my Instagram where I take a picture every day of their lunch and what's in it. And so it gives you some inspiration on how to pack a healthy gluten-free lunch for your kids. Plant snacks. These are cassava root chips. I, they all like them a lot. Next, more produce. We got two bags of squash and zucchini. Uh, one thing I really like to do is make zucchini boats, especially in a pinch. It's sometimes like almost as fast as like pizza, making pizza, but you would basically cut them in half, scrape out the seeds in the middle to make like a little canoe, and then put in pasta sauce and top it with cheese or green peppers. Um, or you could do like a ground beef and sauce and make it like, you know, like a stuffed. And then squash, same thing, like we will make a lot of times kebabs. Are great and well liked here. Um, we can make like a squash casserole. I don't know. Pasta. John makes this great pasta with squash and zucchini in it. We've never bought this from Costco before, but I bought it because I'm excited that we are in soup season. It is officially October. It's still 90 degrees, but that's not going to stop me. I would like to teach the girls, at least the older two, you know, how to make soups this fall. So we got a bunch of vegetable broth so we can make veggie soups, like vegetable soup. Some other vegetable soups, potato soups, yeah, rice, all the things, I don't even know. Send me your best soup recipes that are gluten-free because um, I realize now that I only have one soup recipe. That is most of the new slash most exciting things we got at Costco on this trip. We did swing through Walmart for a few select things. Um, let me just share with you guys what we got there. Uh, let's start with these. We've got Happy Kid, blueberry and raspberry fruit and oat bars, no added sugars, gluten-free, non-GMO, all this stuff. There's five in here, which is perfect for our kids who eat bars. There are five of them. And Marin gets a little older, I don't know what we're gonna do. Then we've got a banana and chocolate flavor. Really cool. Then I grabbed three of these. These pure bars, same kind of thing, non-GMO, gluten-free, they're vegan, crispy, peanut butter chocolate regular peanut butter chocolate chip. And then this is a chocolate brownie. This is again, like a special treat lunch kind of snack thing situation, fruit and nut bar. Seven ingredients. So this one has dates as the first, cashew butter, semi-sweet chocolate, almonds, cocoa, walnuts, and sea salt. That's it. I also grabbed a few of these once upon a farm. These are in the refrigerated section. They're baby foods. But they are cold pressed, so everything's like raw food, so it's got all the nutrients. Do you want this, baby? Marin wants it right now. You want it? And last but not least, I got three of these because they were on sale. They are chocolate almond butter. You can't see the picture. Oh, there. They're like mini pies, you guys. They're gluten free, they're made with like coconut oil, some sort of crust. Uh, but this is like. Again, a special little dessert for the girls. If they have a really good week, it's something I'll throw in their lunch for a happy Friday. That was the all, pretty much all we got at Walmart. We also got some like cheese and stocked up on a few other like staples, but for the most part, this was our haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know if you've ever had any of these, especially these bars, um, and what your favorite is. And we'll see you guys super soon. We love y'all. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our videos, click follow, follow again, and then tap see first to make sure you stay up to date on what's going on with our family.